a theremin is a very unique musical instrument which you can play without touching it. It consists on a box where the electronic circuits are located, an antenna that regulates the tone of the note, which we marked with the letter A. It also has another antenna that controls the volume of sound produced, and we marked it with the letter B. If you hold your hand near antenna A, you will hear a low pitched tone. This is from the low end of the musical scale. If you bring your hand near antenna A, the note will raise its pitch, corresponding to the high end of the musical scale. If you bring your other hand closer to antenna B, the volume or force with which the music note is heard will be softer. The closer your hand to antenna B, the softer the volume. The principle of operation of the theremin is an oscillator, that is, a circuit that produces high frequency waves. You cannot hear them, but they can be controlled very easily by varying the oscillator constants. The part of the circuit which controls the frequency of the oscillation is composed of a few turns of wire, called a coil, and a pair of plates electrically isolated from each other which make up a capacitor. In this case, it is the capacitor that controls the frequency change. If the capacitor plates are spaced away from each other, the oscillation frequency will be high, that is, the circuit will oscillate rapidly. If the capacitor plates are close together, the frequency of the oscillation will be low, the circuit will oscillate relatively slowly. Anyway, the frequencies produced are too high for you to hear them. The oscillator circuit will also work if we remove one of the plates of the capacitor and move our hand closer to the other plate. If we move our hand closer, the frequency goes lower, and if we move our hand away, the frequency will go higher. To convert the frequencies produced by the oscillator to audible frequencies, it is necessary to use an additional oscillator operating at a fixed frequency, equal to the frequency produced when our hand is at the furthest position used. When the two frequencies of both oscillators are mixed, a third frequency results, which is equal to the difference between the frequency of the fixed oscillator and the frequency of the oscillator you can control as your hand moves closer or away from antenna A. In this block diagram, we see the mixture of the two frequencies produced by the two oscillators goes into a block called radio. This portion of the instrument is very similar to a normal AM radio receiver. A tone equivalent to the difference between the two frequencies will be heard on the radio receiver loudspeaker. If your hand is relatively far away from antenna A, your variable oscillator will produce a frequency equal to that of the fixed oscillator. Therefore, the sound frequency to be heard will be zero cycles per second, nothing. As you bring your hand closer, you will hear an increasingly high-pitched tone produced by the increasing difference between the fixed oscillator and the variable oscillator. This way, moving the hand away from antenna A will result in a deep low tone. As you move it closer, the pitch of the tone becomes higher. This feature is used to produce the melody. On the other hand, antenna B is connected to a pair of similar oscillators, but in this case, when the frequency difference is processed, it will be used to control the volume of the sound output. The closer the hand to antenna B, 
the lower the volume obtained. In a very simplified way, this is how this musical instrument, the theremin, plays without being touched. Thanks for watching.